Every archer that shoots at a, at a high level knows the feeling that they can do whatever they want and the arrows are going to go straight in. And that's when I know it's time to go. My name is Steve Eider. I recently became a silver medalist at the Olympics 2021. World champion indoor with team, European champion outdoor myself, and I've won Vegas. I'm the type of guy that shoots a lot of weight on his bow, so for me, I was always looking to get the perfect setup so to go as, as thin as possible with the amount of weight that I'm running. So I thought I'd just shoot you guys a message and see if we can work something out. And I believe that's about seven years ago right now. So I've been with you guys ever since. In the Olympics this year, winning that mixed team medal with your teammate, tell me about what that means for you personally and, and how you view the impact of that on the sport moving forward. For me personally, it means like everything. The, um, the Olympics is the biggest sports event in history and to shoot in a mixed team competition, definitely these days with everything gender neutral and, and stuff like that, I believe that women and men can do the exact same thing at 70 meters with a bow. So for me, shooting with Gabby, um, it was a real privilege to, to be able to win a medal. Definitely when it's the first uh, mixed team competition um, at the Olympics, for archery at least. I do really believe that, that people are equal and if you ask me, we should do something like that more in all the sports. When we look at the Olympics, when we look at medalists, when we look at people who've been doing really well, it's easy for maybe people who haven't been part of the journey or haven't been there the whole time to think it's just this trajectory that's just up and they just always shoot well and archery is always easy and they just are trying to win all the time. Um, but having done archery, I think a lot of people who are gonna listen to this or watch this recognize that it's much more complicated. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of things that you learn along the way when no one's watching, essentially. And we wanted to ask what were some of the biggest challenges you faced and kind of how they shaped you as a person or what you've learned from them? Actually, I've been down the drain completely. I've been depressed because of archery. I just didn't want to shoot anymore. It was back in 2018, I became number one of the world in the world ranking. And I felt like I always had a big picture in my, in my mind that when you become number one of the world, everything is going to be better and you get better deals and better everything, but nothing happened. Nobody really cared. And for me, it was such a big hit to take that I just wanted to stop and I didn't felt like doing it anymore. So it was a really difficult moment and it took me completely of 2019 to get over it. So actually for me, it was pretty good that the Olympics were delayed because I wasn't in a good shape and my hat wasn't at the right place. I was still winning medals back at the time, but I didn't enjoy it. I remember winning the World Cup final in Vegas in 2019. I just went to the room and threw the medal in a, in a corner and that's it. So I was really in a bad space at the time, but I went over it and now I just enjoy shooting archery and for me, it's the thing I, I love most and that's why I do it and that's why I kept on doing it. I truly believe that in the 2021 20, that we're living right now, everybody is just too stressed and too, like everybody's working so hard to achieve their goals that they forget to live in the moment. Um, if there's something I want to give to, to everybody, it's just step back and relax a little bit more sometimes. It's, sometimes it's just good the way you are and everything is gonna work out. Especially these days with the social media. When you go on social media, everybody is having the perfect life and everything is good, but it's all fake. So <laughs> I think once you finally accept that, that your whole life is gonna be a little bit better.